Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a Mexican carne guisada. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we do this carne guisada JP style. Check it out. These are the things that we're going to be using to make this carne guisada. Got about two and a half pounds of chuck pot roast and very nice cut right here. I have uh, some tomato sauce. I got a whole onion that I'm going to be using, a couple of cloves of garlic, some cumin, uh, beef broth from Swanson, and uh, you know you can't go without having the JPAP. You know, uh, just lighten up this this whole uh, food up. So let's uh, let's get started. Let me put this stuff to the side. And we'll get this meat cut up into uh, beef size stew type meat. You know, because that's what a carne guisada is. A carne guisada is a, is a beef stew. And uh, you obviously got to start off with some really, with a really nice cut of, uh, of beef for it. So... This is probably one of my favorite cuts. Of, I use this actually for, for hamburger meat, but you can use this for just about, you know, a lot of things. And um, as you can see, it's got some really nice looking marbling in there. And, and that's what you want. Anytime you're gonna be doing a carne guisada, anytime you're gonna be doing any kind of, kind of meat, that's what you're looking for. Those nice little fat striations, striations that are in there you know just gonna add that flavor uh, to your meat so I'm gonna start off first by just trimming some of this you know silver skin off because you don't want that that's gonna you know probably just get chewy so we'll get that taken off and uh, we'll start cutting it up into some nice little blocks there we go, looking good, looking good. And uh, actually, it's a nice cut of meat. Start separating it. We get into the inside of it. And uh, just take a look at that. Boy, that is, that is really nice. So we'll just start cutting this up into nice little cubes. Leave some of the fat in there because, you know, obviously that's where the flavor comes from. I don't like them into big, big, I don't like big chunks. I like small little pieces, you know, that way they can be nice and, you know, manageable. Kind of about the same size as I cut my hamburger meat as well. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I did a video where I did a ground beef or hamburger meat um, using this cut of meat and I added some short ribs. You know, it'll be right here right there it'll pop up right there if you're interested in watching it you know obviously watch it after you finish watching this one but that hamburger came out so delicious it was so good mm, loved it all right so we're getting close to getting this cut up into small little manageable pieces i'm going to get these vegetables cut up next change my knife out put my board over here you know, we'll start with a nice onion. So get you an onion, cut it in half. And we're gonna dice this onion up into small little pieces. There we go. Put that right there, throw that over there. Well, this is a nice knife, I like it. This thing will cut your fingers off if you let it. All right. That's about all we're gonna do with that onion. Get you two cloves of garlic. That's what you want, like two nice cloves. There's one, there's two, and, uh, and smush them just a little bit and get this outer skin taken off. And we'll be able to cut these garlics up or dice these garlics up into uh, a minced garlic there we go there's that one what we're gonna do we're just gonna mince this up into small little pieces 
just to add that robust flavor of garlic. Time to get this camp chef fired up and get to cooking. And that's about what we want right there. Just a medium to low heat. And then probably just crank it down maybe just a little bit more. There we go. We'll get our big old pot on there. Put a little bit of olive oil. And we'll get this meat start uh, searing it up. And we'll start adding the ingredients into it. And we're going to be using our JPAP uh, to season this meat up some. You know, it's going to add some really good flavor to it. Okay, just a little bit, something like that. We'll get it all stirred up in there. We'll drop this piece of fat in there. That way we can monitor the heat. Add a little bit more. That should be good. There we go. When it starts sizzling, you know you're getting ready and you can add the, the rest right in. Don't fill out. Don't let it get away. And what we're going to do is just spin this around just a little bit, get it seared up. When we start getting close, we'll start adding some of these other ingredients. We're going to add a little dash of cumin. Maybe like a, like a teaspoon or maybe half of a teaspoon is all you really need. I'm not too crazy about strong cumin flavors, but you do want to add just a little bit to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely, once, you, once, you, once I hit that aroma of that cumin, you know, I'm good to go. Our garlic and our onions. And we want to cook these onions and this garlic till till the onions get kind of translucent, and then we'll be able, then then we'll be ready to add the rest of the ingredients. That's kind of about what you want right there. And then the fat has started to render out of out of the meat, and the onions are getting translucent, and we can see all that beef stew down at the bottom. We're ready for our next ingredient, which is going to be a can of tomato sauce. Get that in there. Get it mixed up really good. There we go. Gonna come out fantastic. The the down not the downfall, but um, the thing about making beef stew out of this kind of meat is um, once you get it all done, you gotta let it you gotta let it simmer for about an hour and a half. Let those chunks of meat get nice and tender. There we go. There's the tomato sauce. And now what we're gonna do? We're gonna add this uh, beef broth to it. And all I'm using is swamps and beef broth. You want to add enough until it kind of covers the meat just a little bit. And we're going to crank up the heat till it gets to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we cover it up and we'll let it simmer. And then we'll drop the heat down, let it simmer for about an hour and a half. Now, I've seen other videos where um, people add flour to, to, the, to the beef stew to thicken it up. Yeah, I've done that before. I'm not too crazy about it, but if you wanted to add some flour that way the the stew thickens up a little bit, you know, you you can just add a little bit of flour to it, you know, until you see it thicken up and then just call it good. We're going to let that bad boy get to a boil. Covering it up now. And we're going to drop the temp down to as low as it can go. And we're going to let it simmer for about an hour and a half. It is roughly 448, almost 5 o'clock. So this won't be ready till about 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this plate dished up for us. Um, we're going to start off with a little bit of our beef stew, or in Mexican terms, carne guisada. Ooh, man, looks good. Put a little bit of carne guisada right here on the side. Cover that back up. Glass is getting all fogged up. And then we're going to add some rice. Yes, sir. That's what you want right there. You see that rice nice and fluffy like that? So we'll put us some rice right in here. There we go. That carne guisada. 
And this, my friends, is a typical Mexican dish. Carne guisada, frijolitos negros, and Mexican style rice. Just take a look at that, man. Does that look fantastic or what? Let's do a little taste test on these things. The only thing that's missing is some tortillas. Here we go. Ooh, man, it's hot. Let me grab it over here. So we'll start off with the with the carne guisada. See what that's all about. Heck, I can probably grab a little bit of rice right there. Here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. The meat is so tender. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. And the rice and the fluffiness of the rice, which is blended in with, with some of them juices from the meat. Let's see, get some of these beans. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Wow. Guys, look at that. That is super, super delicious. This is home cooking back home with mom and dad i mean this is this is very very flavorful if you're interested in this recipe it'll be down below uh, i have two videos out for this one for the beef stew and obviously one for the rice um you know very typical food that that we make you know back home in texas and it's not hard to make it's pretty easy to make if you're interested in it just look down in the description it'll be right there uh the other thing i wanted to mention as well uh, i have a patronage page i'll put the link right here and it'll pop up right there as well if you're interested in supporting this channel um you know feel free to check out that page uh, if you're interested in the products that i sell on my website uh, jpbarbecue.com i'll put it i'll put a link right there as well you know go out and check out the the products that i have uh for sale uh, also don't forget give it a thumbs up uh, click that subscribe button right there and share it with your friends um, see what else that's really about it i'm gonna eat i love you guys and i will see you guys on the next cookout take care